Hey folks, Rob here, and uh, I just wanted to go over one of my, I like to put things in kits when I'm uh, camping and doing outdoor activities. I like to have things in kits to where I can find everything that's related kind of together, or at least in my opinion. So here's one of my kits. I've had it forever. This is a Molly Below, just uh, some kind of cheap bag that I found somewhere. Uh, nothing special. Somebody either gave it to me or... Uh, Picked it up somewhere to a sale somewhere. I don't know where I got it. I've had it for years. So anyway, inside here, I keep this is my fire kit. Primarily a fire kit. It's got a few other things in it. But inside, first thing I have is my ferro rod. And uh, we, me and Macy's use this thing a lot of times to make fires. And I got a striker on that in case, uh, you know, I don't have a knife uh, capable of striking with. And then uh, inside that, I also carry a compass. So I have my, this is a Sunto compass. I don't know how it got that big air bubble in it, but it's got an air bubble in it. But it still works. I've used this a few times when we'd be out hiking just to kind of teach Macy a little bit about reading the compass, just to familiarize her with it. This has a rotating bezel. So, as you know, you can use this on maps. Uh, and then also in here I have my Altoids tin, and in the bottom I have a piece of a broken file that if I find some chert or something that uh, uh, flint type material I can strike uh, flint and steel. So it's hard to find good chert around here. I really need to order some, but uh, I never have. So I carry that piece of broken file in there just just in the event I find something I can spark off of. And inside my Altoids tin, which I keep wrapped with these three Ranger bands, which are, which are just old uh, inner tubes that are cut into rubber band sizes, I have some char cloth. Now, I actually made this char cloth. Uh, I like to go to the dollar store and buy the, uh, the cheap packs of washcloths and cut them up into pieces and uh, make my own char. Uh, container and uh, make my own char cloth so that is some of the char cloth that I have made uh, and so I, that's in in there and then in my back pocket I carry some scissors you know you might want need to cut some you know you might need that for some reason I also keep some alcohol wipes now these can be used for first aid or for fire starting you can actually use these to start a fire with. They'll, if you tear them apart and fluff them up, use your flint or your ferrule rod. Uh, I did have a lighter in here, but I've taken it out. Also keep a couple zip ties. And in here, I have a small kit with a ranger band. Now, this is, this is really a sewing kit, but it also could be used for fire starting. Because inside here, I have some, some hemp string and a piece of wax and a couple needles now if you had to you could shave off some of this wax and use this as fire starting you could use the string uh, to start fire so this is kind of multi-purpose it is a sewing kit but it is also part of my fire starting kit so and i like to keep things you know to where there's you know different aspects of each each type of kit in each kit so I might have a few elements of a, a medical kit in with my, or fire starting in with my medical, such as alcohol prep pads or something along that line. So that's basically what I carry in my fire starting kit, and along with a lighter. I usually keep a lighter in there, but I've taken it out because I needed it for something probably uh, to burn trash or something. And uh, that all fits pretty good in here. Uh, I sometimes stick a little knife in the front here, in this front pocket, just to have a knife. And uh, But uh, that is a look at my fire starting kit. So anyway guys, I just thought I'd brought, bring you along and let you look at that. Other than a lighter, if there's anything in there you see that I should probably have in that, leave it in the comments below, you know. Uh, I'm always open for suggestions of what uh, what a good kit should carry keep it all together so 
Anyway, guys, appreciate you watching, and until the next video, we'll see you later.